The problem is, I'm interested in religion, as you know, and I, 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 I'm interested in race, but only as a firefighter, only as, a, as an enemy of racism. Uh, that's the extent of my interest in ethnicity. I, I, I want to live in a fairer, more decent world. So, you know, I don't... The numbers, Asian population of the UK up from 7.5% to 9.3%, black 33 to 4 Mixed ethnic groups, 2.2 to 2.9, and others from, from 1 to 2.1. That's just in England and Wales, forgive me, not the, not the United Kingdom. From the Office of National Statistics. And, and you just know that later today, especially in Elon Musk's brave new world, you're, you're going to see loads of people complaining about this. And I am interested in why anyone would complain or be upset or feel threat. The white people are under threat. It's a great replacement theory. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, keep it that way. Seriously, this is a sewer you do not need to explore. But but again, this idea of uh, uh, of... of Skin colour being of so, such profound importance that that you can't just recognise the, the the changing nature of of societies and life. It, it is of enduring fascination to me, but I'm not ready to jump into it off the back of the statistics that have just been announced. I'd rather give it a little more thought first. We may have a look at the religion side of it. Christianity now essentially uh, in a minority in this country, not because we've been overrun by Muslims before anybody leaps to that conclusion, but simply because people aren't Christians anymore. So I, I, I suspect the biggest category is probably people who have no, no religion at all. But England and Wales now are now minority Christian countries, which means loads of people who've never been near a church in their life will, in tomorrow's newspapers, be encouraged to feel that Christianity has somehow been um, edited out of the picture. People who couldn't tell you the Ten Commandments or name three apostles will be absolutely encouraged to be disgusted and outraged that less than half of the population have described themselves as Christian. I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you're worried, if you're worried about the decline of Christianity in this country, guess what? There's something actually quite serious you can do about it. Just start believing in Christianity. There you go. That's the end of my TED talk. If you're, if you're, if you're worried about the decline in Christianity in this country. And trust me, tomorrow you will be encouraged to be worried about the decline in Christianity in this country. We could almost write the article now. Christians are no longer a majority. in the. Yet if you're worried about it, go to church. There you go. Start believing that the big fella walked on water. There it is. Seriously. Feeding the 5,000. It's all there. That's all you need. If you're worried about the decline in Christianity in this country, you are probably one of the 22.2 million people who describe themselves as having no religion at all. So there you go. You can fix this. You've got this. Don't let them, don't let them provoke you into a position of ignorant rage once again. I, I can't believe it. It's not a Christian country anymore. Do you go to church? No. Don't believe in all that nonsense. Just some giant sky fairy. Don't believe in the tooth fairy either or, or, or the fairies at the bottom. Of course I don't believe. Well, why are you worried about it not being a Christian country anymore? Oh, rats, he's done it again. I can't say there's too many flipping Muslims here, can I? Because that would make me a racist. So I have to pretend that I'm actually upset about a decline in Christianity, despite... Anyway, whatever. 